The process for automating callout labels is very similar to that for automating view labels. Rather than repeating information, if you haven't watched the view label video, go do that first. I'm in my template drawing, where I have a single dynamic callout block. It's been set up with fields, the same way the view label block was in the last video. The top field references the view number, while the bottom one references the sheet number. Both fields fall under the sheet set placeholder category. There aren't any arrows shown by default, but this block has options for interior elevations, exterior elevations, and even multi-views, so it's completely flexible. I'll open the Sheet Set Properties dialog to assign this block to my sheet set. When I click the Browse button on the Callout Blocks line, I get an intermediary dialog first. That's because it's feasible that you might have different callout blocks, sections, details, interior elevations, etc. Some of these might be combined into a single block, but probably not all of them. This dialog gives you the flexibility to store different blocks to use in different situations. When I do browse to the file, the process is the same as for view labels. I'll choose the callout block from the drawing file because its definition already exists there. If your block is in its own file, you could select the entire drawing file instead. Now it's time to test it. I'll go to the Sheet Views tab and double click on one of my plan views to open it. Then I'll right click on the view I want to reference and choose Place Callout Block. Because this is the first time I've done this for this sheet set, I'm prompted to select a block to use, so I'll choose my callout block. The next time I place a callout, the block will be listed there in the right click menu. When I left click to place the block, the view and sheet number are filled in automatically. But that's not all. If I press Control and left click on the view number, that sheet opens and zooms in on the view. I could also have just opened the sheet by holding Control and clicking on the sheet number. I should point out why this works, though. It's because I checked the Associate Hyperlink box when I created the view number and sheet number fields. Now that I'm using fields in both my view label and callout blocks, it is even more important that I don't double click on a block to edit it. Doing so would break the intelligent links that I've set up. Instead, if I want to change a view number, I'll do it from the Sheet Views tab. That way, the view label updates when I regen the drawing, and when I go back to the plan drawing, the callout block updates there too.